Let's take a look at Z and Z prime. Here's a structure called the ZP2, Z prime 2. So there are two independent molecules in the asymmetric unit. And the formula of this molecule has something to do with two fluorines. So this is the formula we want to be displayed up here. Now, crystallography doesn't really know about this. And if we go into toolbox works, we can go and set this uh, set prime at will. It doesn't really matter. Crystallography doesn't care, but chemists do. So if we set this to one, then now we would end up with a formula based on four fluorines. And that just doesn't make sense. So the correct value here is Z prime equals two. And of course, Z prime and Z are related and they, uh, they cannot change one and, and the other one will automatically change accordingly. So to be clear, this means that two formula unit in the asymmetric unit, that's set prime, and that means that there are eight of those formula units, in this case eight of those molecules in the unit cell. Let's look at another example. It's also shipped. It's the water structure here. Here it's the other way around. So here we have a set prime of one half. So what that means is this needs to be grown to see the full thing. So control G uh, shows you where it can grow and you can click on that and we don't resize this automatically. You need to do this by hand. Also what it hasn't grown is this extra water molecule. This needs the command grow minus W to show everything that is there. In this case, that prime is one half, and that choice gives you a formula based on one manganese and two ligands, so there's two sulfurs, so there's two sulfurs up here. We could have chosen Z prime equals one, and that would have changed the formula to something based on one ligand and half a manganese. Now, for continuous solids, this may make sense, but for discrete molecules like this, this doesn't make much sense and the choice of 0.5 is clearly a better choice for this where we have one manganese and two of those ligands. Um, I hope this uh, cleared up the matter a little bit. So the formula unit is something that you really want to choose as a chemist and you can adjust that with the value of set prime which you can adjust in toolbox work and then Olex2 will look after the rest. Thanks for using Olex2.